young adults that join this program, they're smart, you know, they've known in their head that they can't change the world, but they really actually still want to change the world. And it was really hard for Thad. My name is Thad Tietze and I served in Gooduk Salish, Hungary. I was actually very much wanting to keep faith at an arm's length throughout the year. Faith very quickly just walked up and punched me in the gut. The community that I was serving and the congregation I was working with have a very different outlook on faith than what I had come from in my personal history. We learned to live with the differences and find ways to connect beyond the things that were dividing us. International contacts are very important. Our culture is different, our tradition is different, but if we uh, learn how people can express their faith under different circumstances, it can be a very enriching uh, uh, experience for, for all of us. A typical day in Gurdjieff Salish, I would have breakfast with my host family, I would walk 10 minutes to the children's house, I would play with them, we would have a meal together, we would have some sort of activity which would give them something they could create and be proud of. He became, in a small way, part of a village and uh, carries that village with him now. I, throughout this, had really a wealth of time to myself and just simply with others that was unstructured that I had never experienced before. That all of a sudden just breathes new life into how you think about where your feet are positioned in the world and how that affects your perspective. The solitude also lends itself to each day kind of recommitting yourself to how will I use this day? Now that I'm back in the United States, you get so caught up in kind of the mundane little things and you don't step back and say, what are we actually doing here? That's why I think living in the village of about 250 people ended up being a beautiful part of the year. We were able to get to know each other, informed by all of these things that are happening around us, but we nonetheless were able to partition those things off and just focus on living our lives in that small piece of the earth. We are all suffering in lots of different ways and we're all in communities that are facing suffering and somehow in the middle of that, uh, Christ is raising us up to new life, not individually, but raising us up together. And um, um, that's how we keep moving forward.